today let's talk about app testing on lambda test lambda test supports app testing on both emulator simulators as well as on real devices today let's talk about emulators and simulators in case of android emulators we need a dot apk file to be uploaded and for ios we need a dot zip file that contains a dot app how you can upload the file so simply click on this upload icon which will open a native window on your local pc and from there you can select your dot zip or your apk file that will get uploaded and start reflecting under the apps you can also upload the app by using a direct downloadable url and that app would also be represented just like these once you have the app uploaded and you want to start the testing just simply select the apk or the ipa using which you want to start the test select the device and simply click on start before i start a session i would also like to take your attention to the three dots in front of each of the applications the three dots allows you to change the visibility that is you can change the visibility between teams or only yourself you can rename the application or you can delete the apk or ip okay. also in case of androids you also have a toggle button which allows you to select the supported devices that is if there is a particular app that you're testing and that is only supported on let's say in case of android on the latest uh, android version 13 then the supported devices only toggle will make sure that it only shows device 13 rest all of the other devices will automatically get grayed out to start with i'm selecting the sample apk and uh, by default selected samsung device and i'll click on start as soon as i click on start the device that i've selected gets allocated for me and the application that i've selected is downloaded into that device and installed and open for me so that i can start performing the tests here i can work with this application just like i do with on an actual device also there are a few options that i can work with on top of the application if i want to add another application which I would like to test in the same session i can install a new app or i can kill the app or i can uninstall this current app as well then here also i have an option to mark a bug so mark as bug again captures a screenshot of the viewport that you're working on and you can highlight or try to text to make sure that what is an issue or what is a bug so let's say i want to write bug and i would like to underline this or highlight this so anything or you can even color this use different shapes to highlight the issue that you found out while testing and simply click on mark as bug to send this particular issue directly to your bug marking tool in my case since i have not integrated with any of the bug marking tools i am getting the default lambda test screen and from here i can simply select the assignee, the issue, priority, and enter in the summary. So for each and every different bug marking tools that you might have integrated with Lambda test, these fields might be different, and all of your important fields should have to be entered before marking a bug. Once you enter all the details, you can just simply click on create an issue. Here, you also have a checkbox which shows you that you can also share this particular bug directly to your integrated communication channel with lambda test as well so in my case it's microsoft teams so i'll simply click on create an issue and this will automatically log a bug onto my lambda test platform itself here i can also share the screenshot directly to anyone outside the team as well if they do not have access to the bug that i've currently marked or they can also download this or save it for later now 
Here as well, you get a video recording option to record all of the actions that you perform in the particular application. You get a gallery section where you get all of the screenshots and videos that you have recorded and the screenshots, you can select all the screenshots together and mark them into single bug as well. Then here under dev tool section, you get three different options. First one is the dev tools, which gives you the basic device logs, network logs, app logs, etc., which you can use to debug the application or test. Now, let's talk about UI Inspector. UI Inspector is very similar to what ABM Inspector provides, where you can inspect the elements of the app that you're testing on to write down a code or fetch the elements. Here, you simply need to select the element and you can get the X paths or the selectors for that particular element. Third is the ADB shell. So the ADB shell supports all the ADB commands to be run on this application. I'll just simply list out all of the ADB commands that we support. Moving forward, we provide you also a few device level controls. That is, you can change the keyboard language, you can rotate the device, you can lock the screen, increase the volume, decrease the volume, and if the application that you're testing responds to shake uh, feature or has an action that it performs when you shake the device, you can also trigger the shake action as well. Then we provide both IP-based geolocation and GPS geolocation. So in IP-based geolocation, let's say the application is accessible across the globe and you want to see how the traffic on the application uh, response while you are accessing it from a different country or a different region, you can choose the IP based geolocation. However, for applications that has an embedded map or that uh, uses a GPS geolocation like Uber or Swiggy, you can use GPS geolocation to set the particular geolocation you want to test the application on and choose between the different locations. Going to settings, you again, you have an option to choose with an idle timeout so that if you leave the system idle, it doesn't switch off. Then you have network throttling where if you want to test out your application on different speeds or a custom speed, you can test that out by entering the custom speeds and the custom upload speed, download speed and latency. This was a quick overview about application testing or app testing on Android emulator. In a very similar way, we also support application testing on iOS emulators as well.